captured, bleeding, and on his way to hospital, the young conscript at the center of a huge military manhunt. The 22-year-old apparently tried to take his own life after a standoff lasting more than 24 hours. He'd just spoken to his father and elder brother, who'd been brought to the scene. As Sergeant Lin confronted our military, his father and brother tried to persuade him to surrender, but he did not comply and instead committed self-injury. Lim had been on the run since allegedly throwing a grenade and opening fire on fellow soldiers at the remote military outpost where he'd been serving on Saturday night. Five soldiers were killed and seven injured in the attack. Now he's in custody, military investigators will begin examining just how that attack unfolded and what the motives might have been. Much of that investigation will focus on just how Sergeant Lim was able to be serving at a frontline post with daily access to weapons. For much of last year, he wouldn't have been classified as a Category A risk. He was only downgraded to Category B in November. That kind of unit, well, they always use weapon well, in everyday basis. So, I mean, you need very, very mentally stable well, soldier over there. So, well, I mean, you just cannot ban this tender. The Ministry of Defense says about 7,000 soldiers are discharged early from national service every year over concerns about their fitness for military life. There have been two previous such shootings within the last 10 years. In both cases, the soldiers were found to have been bullied by their superiors. Harry Fawcett, Al Jazeera, Seoul.